tropical disturbance is making its way towards South Texas tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gabriela Garcia. Governor Greg Abbott issued an activation order for increased readiness on the Texas coast, deploying water rescue boats along with a Task Force One high profile vehicle. Here in the Brazos Valley, we could see some thunderstorms from that system. We've got Chief Meteorologist Bob French in to break it all down for us. Bob, how is that moisture coming into play here? Well, Gabriella, we definitely have a uh, good chance of rain and a flash flood watch is in effect for parts of the Brazos Valley from Brazos and Burleson and Madison counties southward to the coast, really, including uh, so the, really the southern half of the Brazos Valley under a flash flood watch beginning tonight at 1 a.m. just after midnight through Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Now here's what's going on. We've got uh, rain starting to move into the Brazos Valley right now across Washington County, moving up toward Lake Somerville and into southern portions of Brazos County. This is just the leading edge of a huge mass of tropical moisture working in toward the Texas coast. The good news with this is that disturbance is not developing any, so we don't expect it to develop into a tropical cyclone, a storm, or a hurricane. Unfortunately, it's got a lot of tropical moisture associated with it, and we're right in the path of where that moisture is spinning inland. So rain chances really start to pick up overnight tonight. This evening, starting out with a 30% chance for showers, up to 50% by midnight, and then rain likely tomorrow and tomorrow night. Locally heavy rainfall possible. The good news uh, also is that this is just a two-day affair. It looks like the rain chances will decrease as we head toward the weekend. More on this tropical moisture with the rest of the forecast in just a bit.